What's going on everyone? My name is Jack Southall and I'm here today for my WWE Raw review for February the 9th, 2015. So let's not waste any time, let's get into it. So um, we're going to open up the show with Roman Reigns coming out. Um, he was just talking about Fastlane and all that stuff. He didn't get a good reaction from this crowd. Um, actually the crowd tonight was pretty shite. Um, I don't know, where were they from... Um, I'll probably put an annotation somewhere of where Raw was from. But um, anyway, Daniel Bryan comes out. Lots of yes chants going everywhere. But um, he's still got some heat because Mr. Cocker's Fist got some supporters out there. And uh, yeah, weird crowd reaction. Fuck this crowd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so Bryan says cheers, Reigns, and you know, hypes up Fastlane. And then of course the authority has to come out with Kane and... Big show, and they try to play everything that has not gone their way on to Reigns and Brian and Brian, <laughs> and I think Stephanie McMahon mentioned um, you put Kane into a casket and you know he can't breathe in there and all that. And then Daniel Bryan goes, "Well, uh, Triple H hasn't had any good experiences with caskets." <laughs> Um, for those of you who don't know, it's he's relating to the Katie Vick incident. Um, you can go look it up if you want. It's quite weird and disturbing. But um, the, he gets pissy, and so he makes a match. Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan versus The Big Show and Kane. So, yeah, what is... I'm getting... To be honest with you, I'm getting really sick and tired of just these damn 20-minute promos of just the authority and all the big stars coming out. Why can't we just have a match? Like, a, just a match to keep... Why couldn't we just have this to start off the show? It would have been fine without a big fucking promo, but... Oh, well. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty um, normal tag team match. Um, authority was watching at ringside... And, of course, they had to win by disqualification because um, winning cleanly doesn't exist in today's day and age. Um, so they have a bit of a kerfuffle, and so Reigns is in the corner, and Daniel Bryan, who and Kane was in the way, he was supposed to hit the drop key on Kane. Kane ducked, and then he hits Roman Reigns. He gets a bit pissed off, and... Brian's telling to tell him, oh, it was an accident, it was an accident, and all that stuff. And so, you know, and all that. And then, of course, Triple H comes out and says, oh, you're going to have a five-on-two handicap match with Big Show, Kane, Rollins, and J&J Security. Yay. Just, no. Um, Seth Rollins comes out. Speaking of Seth Rollins... Um, I'm feeling really bad for him right now because apparently he's in some sort of a scandal. Some guy hacked into his account, his Twitter account, and posted a naked photo of an NXT diva. Um, and his fiance found out. She got pissed, and then upload. Apparently, that's what she did, and uploaded a naked photo of him. And um, yeah, he's uh, he's feeling. Pr really bad about it probably and I hope he gets through it but anyway he's facing off against Ryback and in the first minute J&J &J security interferes and of course three minutes into the match DQ finish real original and um yeah I don't know why Ryback got involved so yeah this is a match you could just skip over and we got a Video package for Seamus returning in the upcoming future. This will, I think, will probably be like after Fastlane, something like that. So, and he will have a match to, at WrestleMania, probably in like the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal if they have a number one. Um, then we get Paige versus Brie Bella. So, um, yeah, Paige was pretty aggressive tonight, and I thought she got some tattoos because she had some stuff written on her arm, but apparently the stuff written on her arm was um, Drew McDonald, rest in peace or something, because he recently passed away, he was a UK wrestler. So, um, I think Paige won, 
the match against Brie Bella. Um, yeah, that happened. So, of course, the Divas get no time because fancy booking. So, Rusev and Lana come out and play a video package playing tribute to John Cena. And it was pretty much every time John Cena has gotten seriously hurt or beat up or anything like that, which is not a lot, actually. And so, Rusev, just very generic stuff here. You know, Rusev says, You're an old man and I'm big and strong and Russian shit. And then John Cena cuts his typical John Cena promo. At, I don't know how he got his black eye. Can someone please explain to me, how did John Cena get his black eye? I really need to know. Not really, but... And so, yeah, just really generic stuff. Like, John Cena is, cuts his stupid jokes and all that. Um, so, yeah. But the brawl that happened between those two was pretty good. Um... I think Rusev just runs, and John Cena runs up to them, and they have a bit of a fight um, up into the ramp. So Rusev just throws Cena into the raw stage, like where his bad eye was, and just knocked him. Well, he didn't knock him out, but he hurt him a lot. So yeah, that was a good. Uh, that was a good segment there. Um, Dolph Ziggler versus Bray Wyatt. Um, pretty damn good match. Um, I don't, I know Ziggler's been losing, but at least if we can get good matches between Ziggler and White, that's awesome. Because we need to build up Bray White for his match with Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. So, um, Bray wins. That's okay with me. Um, so we get a Black History Month video, which we're going to get throughout the month of February. This, this week for the Junkyard Dog, um, I... He was actually one of my dad's favorite wrestlers, even though he wasn't really a wrestling fan. So, Junk Yard Dog meant a lot for the wrestling industry, and I quite like him. So, um, we get a Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar segment. He's pretty much putting over Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan, but then again saying, you two, that Bryan's an overachiever and all that, and, like, Roman Reigns has, like, had a tribe of warriors which is talking about his family and his bloodlines and that both of them are a bunch of liars and tries to pull in with the whole NBC incident with, like, that that dude or whatever. And so, yeah, it was really good. Heyman's good, of course. Um, next segment. So, this bit confused me. So, we get an announcement that Triple H wants to know Sting's answer for Fastlane. Like... That makes no fucking sense. If you want to know the answer to the question at Fastlane, wait at Fastlane. Like, for fuck's sake. Stupid booking on that end. Then anyway, New Day faces Golden Stardust. Couldn't give a fuck about the New Day winning. What I really cared about was that Goldust, during the match, was saying, Come on, Cody, tag me in. Stardust just buggers off for some reason. And so, costs them the match. Goldust confronts Stardust and accidentally calls him Cody. Stardust gets pissy and pushes him somewhere. And he just goes, Cody is dead. And does that weird hissing sound that he does. So then we get um, Triple H talking. And so he discusses Sting and like how we was the face of WCW and how Triple H was always sticking with WWE the entire time. So um, we got the crow sound and we got Sting showing up randomly and and like in the promo they Sting there was like Triple H talking about Sting and like one of those sit down interviews he's done with uh, Michael Cole and um, the Sting face paint popped on him which I thought was really cool. And so, it said something like, Triple H, I accept. It was really weird. And so, this guy, in fake Sting face paint, uh, I don't know if that was the fake Sting from WCW, like, jumping Jeff Farmer. <sighs> I kind of wish it was, because that would be really funny. Um, 
with the bat, and so he just uh, Triple H just goes, oh shit, and lights go out, and then all of a sudden he's just buggered off somewhere. So yeah, that was a pretty cool promo there. Um, good editing on that part. Um, next is um, the Usos versus Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Um, they've been doing. I think this is going to lead to a tag title match at Fastlane with Tyson Cesaro. And maybe Natalia's going to turn heel somewhere down the line. I can see that happening. I'd, I'd like to see that. And maybe a six-person tag at WrestleMania 31, probably like in the pre-show or something. Um, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd win. Um, th this is definitely going to lead to a match at Fastlane. I want this to happen at Fastlane. And I'd like to have my boy Tyson and Cesaro win the belts, because that'd be really cool. And, um, after they lose, uh, you know, the Usos are standing in the ring, and they, we find out that Rikishi is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, that's really cool. He's done a lot of great stuff here in the WWE. Like, um, you know, the stink face stuff was really funny, and all the cool dancing and all that. That's really cool that he's getting inducted. So, congratulations, um... Rikishi, and yeah, you deserve it. Um, we get um, a fucking match with Damian Mizdow versus Sin Cara, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, who just popped up, and he's been winning matches constantly. Why? I don't know. Hopefully this leads to Callisto getting called up, because I've been hearing rumours. Hopefully he doesn't become a gay hairstylist and does a Rico. But, um, I'd like to see the Lucha Dragons on NXT. No, not NXT. They're already on NXT. Alright, Sin is not one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions. That's Buddy Murphy and Wesley Blake are the Tag Champions, right? Um, but, yeah, Sin the former NXT Tag Team Champion. So, um, they have a bit of a match. And so, Miz plays a great heel in this. You know, Miz Dow's getting gets the cheers, of course, and he says, excuse me, Sa Sandow, can you please get me a water, but he's like, hey, I'm in the middle of the match, just get me the water, so he gets out of the ring, and gets him the water, oh, no, wait, 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 can you open it for me, and he's like, oh, Jesus Christ, he opens it up, and so, Sin Cara gets the roll up, he wins the match, he gets no reaction whatsoever, and, uh, yeah, I can see this big Miz and Mizdow match happening in WrestleMania 31. I hope it happens. Um, Mizdow is going to crack eventually. Maybe after Fastlane, we'll see it happening. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited to where this Miz and Mizdow feud is going to go. Um, but, so we get Curtis Axel, the supposed winner of the 2015 Royal Rumble, and he wants the hashtag Axelmania to run wild. But then um, Dean Am but he has to face Dean Ambrose. Ambrose wins, of course, and so he is calling out Bad News Barrett, and he wants the Intercontinental Championship. And so Bad News Barrett just pops up on the Titan Tron with BNZ, um, which is a ripoff of TMZ, the the celebrity gossip site. Um, I don't. I hope this is not a gimmick change for Bad News Barrett. I don't get why you would take away the I'm afraid I've got some bad news catchphrase because that was getting him over. I don't care if you are a baby face or a heel. If something is getting you over, you keep that. But don't overuse it. And he has not overused I'm afraid I've got some bad news. It That catchphrase was getting him over. So hopefully he keeps it and doesn't change it for this BNZ, because how many fucking gimmick changes has this guy had? Like, seriously. Anyway, we get to the main event. Um, the 5-on-2 handicap match. Um, I didn't really give a shit about this match, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, the crowd didn't really get into this match. The crowd didn't really get into anything. But, um... Ryback ran out with Ziggler and Rowan, so I thought that'd be a no contest. 
I guess not. Um, so, very little reaction. So, um, just reading the results. So, Reigns comes in and he spears Mercury and gets the win. Brian was setting up for the knee. And so, um, Brian was going to set up for the knee plus and then Reigns speared him and get got the win. Brian gets frustrated. And so, Brian then, like, Pit got pissed at Reigns because he was on the floor the entire match. And so what Roman Reigns does, he just spears him for no reason, which is pretty cunty of him. But um, I do like the booking. You know, I love the tension between Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. So hopefully when they clash at um, Fastlane, it should be good. So, um, yeah, just going to wrap up this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to hit see more, um, comment down below your thoughts, and I'll probably see you next week, and I am out in 3, 2, 1.